In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the simplest and easiest way to slow down the tight offset tight end formation. We're gonna be doing this by sending significant pressure at our opponent, and we're also gonna have pretty decent coverage for the main concepts that you are going to be seeing uh, from people that run this formation. Now, if you wanna get my entire defensive ebook on this, this is the $3.2 defense we're actually working on. Uh, we've dropped several different updates over the last couple of weeks to this ebook, and I do believe that this is the best defense in the game right now. If you wanna sign up for the Patreon to get the entire ebook, it's only 10 bucks and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. Now, like I said, the play we're gonna be taking a look at today is Dollar DB Fire 2. And real quick, I did wanna just uh, quickly uh, point out, we're gonna be rocking this with our auto alignment to base and auto flip off, and then we're gonna have our zone coverage set to match. Now, the only audible that I would recommend, at least at the bare, the bare minimum, is this Cover 3 Cloud Show 2. It is very helpful uh, for defending this formation because we can kind of very quickly get into coverage defenses, whether it be out of Cover 4, Cover 3, Cover 6, or if we want to play some man uh, out of spinner. But this is the main one that I would like to recommend to you guys. And then what would you typically want to do when you're running this is you want your cover three clouds, you want that cloud flat, which is that light blue zone, to be going to the short side of the field. So for example, if they're on the right hash mark, then you would call it as it is. If they're on the left hash mark, then you would want to flip this play at the pre-play menu and call your formation like this. Um, now we are still coming out in DB Fire 2 every single play, but this allows us to audible into all of these other coverages uh, based on situation, okay? All right, so what is the easiest way to slow down PA shot seems is the best, like literally the best um, passing concept in the game. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, so PA shot seems the way most people like to run it real quick. They're just gonna put this guy on a corner route. They're gonna snap the ball. And if you're playing <laughs> soft defense, they're gonna dot you all day long with this. It's one of the best concepts in the game. Um, so how do you slow it down? Really, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, what I like to do with this is we're just gonna press. Uh, you wanna pass commit, and the reason why you wanna pass commit is because it is play action, and the blitz will scream if you pass commit. Now, you're gonna walk these safeties down, and then as far as coverage adjustments go, we are going to middle third this right side safety. We're gonna outside third the right side safety. So these two guys are going into thirds. Um, on this left side safety, what I would really recommend is putting him in a man coverage assignment on that corner route and kind of moving him down and so that he's going to basically kind of lurk it. And then what I like to do on this outside here is put this guy in an outside third. Now, this is a really simple defense. Um, and, and, and you can make it even, even more, I mean, you can make it as simple as you want to. I would really recommend one of these guys going into a flat. Typically for me, it's going to be that right side linebacker so that if the running back goes to the flat or if they try to throw any kind of seam streak, they try to throw any kind of like slant route or out route, you don't have to worry about that. And then really what you're going to do is you're going to kind of help depending on the route distribution. So if they're running standard PA shot seams like this, then you're gonna run to the left. If they're running, um, if they're running like a, a drag route, then you're gonna kind of robot and come back down to the underneath the routes. But basically, this is the the setup. And then from here, all you're gonna do, you're just gonna get over here in this area. And what you'll see is, it's just it's the pressure is gonna come in so quickly that it makes it a really muddy, muddy read. Now you're not gonna stop it every single time, um, but you are going to certainly contain this offense. Uh, this outside third will never get bombed over the top by this player uh, from my uh, experience. This guy right here is gonna be your best coverage corner. So if you have inside shade on him, or if you have KOs, right, that's who you want in this position right here. And then on the right side, you're just kind of running a traditional cover three, and that will really do a good job of defending these seam reads as long as you move this guy down. And then notice that this hard flat is going to take away kind of that snap throw, and then he's also going to take away like a running back. If the running back was on a wheel route, he would get out here and kind of at least muddy up that read as well. So again, this is a super, super simple way to defend uh, PA shot seams, but I do think it is is fairly effective. Again, just walk this guy down, man him up on the outside player, third, um, put this guy in a third, put the outside guy in a third over there on the right, put the hard flat out there, and then third over here. And this is also gonna do a really good job against a lot of other coverage concepts um, that people will run out of this formation. One of those being like a traditional bench concept. 
this will do pretty good against. So if they are in traditional bench, you'll see that third is going to really match that well and will take that corner route away uh, on that sideline over there on that left-hand side. Now, another little setup that I would recommend if you're trying to stop PA shot seam specifically is putting that outside third or outside quarter over there on the left side, then doing the same adjustment over here on the right, except now instead of using this, uh, this linebacker, we're going to use her this linebacker. And so we're going to kind of watch the flat ourselves, and we're going to man that guy up over on that window over there. Now, this is a pretty decent little coverage adjustment um, because you have pretty nice little bracket uh, on this corner route. It's going to be hard to throw that. Ted Hendricks got a terrible man coverage animation there. It's going to be harder to throw that corner route over there on that side. And then I'll show you one other thing that you can do that really does a good job of taking this away. And one of my personal favorites is this cover through cloud. So if you ever want to get kind of bluff your pressure, but you want to still have really good coverage, this right here is the best way to do it. And when you go into the cover through cloud, you're going to have a vert hook here, and then you're going to take that guy, man him up on that outside receiver. This play is really hard to beat, uh, or this coverage from compression is really hard to beat. Now, they will have time in the pocket, um, but that KO should knock that out. If you are ever worried about that corner route over there on the right, another quick little thing that I like to recommend is put this guy in a backed off cloud. Uh, put this guy in a backed off cloud over here and then have that man coverage that we were talking about. So maybe, you know, you do something like, you would have to be in cover through cloud to do this because you need this guy in an outside third, but you have this guy manned up, you have that outside cloud over there on the left side. And then, you know, you can still send the slot off of the edge. You can send both of the slots for that matter, and then just use it the right side flat. But the beauty of cover through cloud is the outside third that that uh, safety is on will play really good uh, for that deep corner route that Carmichael's on. And then if you have that deep corner route, you should be in a pretty good position to bracket that route and take that away, as you can see right here. So these are simple ways to take away PA shot. Seems one of the best plays in the game. Again, you know what my recommendation, bring the safety down, put him in the middle third, put that right side guy in the middle third, and then just take this guy and man him up over here. And really, you could leave it just like this, but I do think that putting the outside quarter over there is actually super helpful. If you had time, you could go into the safeties package and turn this guy into an outside third. That would be even even more um, kind of safe against you know what they're going to be doing. But this right here just takes away a lot. It also takes away the alternate setup, which is that streak. And as you can see, that guy's going to play that every single time. So these are some tips and tricks for how to stop tight offset tight end, which is one of the best offenses in the entire game. Kind of a simple PA shot seems defense that allows you to send five and still stop one of the best plays in Madden. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire uh, defensive ebook on this formation, head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just $10. The link is down below.